because you about to be an ATL. Yeah, I remember when I told you uh, Nene and um, Tamar had stopped following each other. I told y'all that a while ago, right? A while ago, maybe about three months ago. And I told y'all why. And I told y'all it was because Tamar was dating one of Nene's boyfriend's friends, okay? They all, you know, allegedly rich African men, okay? Allegedly. Um, and, um, you know, Tamar, you know, was really liking this guy. She, she was really liking him. And um, apparently, Jason Lee said that it was because uh, that, that Tamar and Nene fell out because Nene was introducing the guy to her other friend. And no, that's not the case. Because look, here's the guy right here. Okay, let me go. Let me go and tell y'all. Let me. Here's the guy right here. His name is Jason. Okay, Jason has dated a couple of women in Atlanta. One being Portia. I don't know if he was the one who bought Porsche to Bentley or not, but you know, he was one of the, the African men that Porsche was also dating. This was way before Tamar. This was way before Nene even uh, met Yoni. Okay. But um, anyway, he, uh, he started, you know, hanging out with um, Tamar while, you know, Tamar was in the circle with Nene. Now, Jason has been known to date lots of women in Atlanta and around the country and wherever else. You know, he, he just be dating. Tamar knew he was dating. Tamar knew that they weren't exclusive. In fact, Tamar was allegedly still seeing uh, David, still seeing, seeing the young boy who robbed her from the, the safe up under her bed. Tamar was seeing a couple of people too. She wasn't exclusive with anybody. When Nene and Yoni and everybody was traveling, I don't know where they went. Africa, they went somewhere. And uh, Jason was with them. Jason had a girl with him too, okay? Uh, Tamar saw the girl in Nene's Instagram posts and went ballistic and told her Nene that she should have told her, her that Jason was there with another uh, girl. <sighs> Nene was like, that. that's your mess. I, my name was, I ain't in that mess, okay? What I look like running you, running to you and telling you what my man best friend is doing and y'all ain't even a couple, okay? Now, I just want to say that I told y'all this a long time ago. And in reiterating this, I'm going to show y'all exactly the same story that I told y'all approximately three months ago. Y'all know I love running stuff back. Now, y'all know I love running stuff back. Hold on. You said she was the side piece. I don't know that she was the side. I don't think there is a side piece in this situation if the man is single and dating. If he not uh, uh, locked down to anybody, hold on. I'm going to show y'all. Because y'all going to say, I can't remember you saying that, Michelle. I cannot. But I did. Here it is right here. Hold on, I'm pulling it up. Look, fake friends. The real reason Tamar fired subliminal shots at Nene. Now, shall we read this three months ago? We're going to read. We gonna rehash Apparently. this quick. It's only a little eight minutes. We got time. Hold on. I want y'all to hear exactly what I said. Going to the streets. Tamar might be a little bit upset because she was hollering at one of the rich Africans too. And now one of the rich Africans got another girlfriend. Get ready, because like, you about to be an ATL. -E 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 -E. Three months ago. I told y'all this. Anyway, let's talk about this, this situation with Tamar. Okay. I don't know what's going on with Tamar. Y'all saw I put her on the um on the thumbnail with Nene. Because Tamar has been throwing all these subliminals, which she often does. And Girl, let me tell you something, honey. <laughs> yes, yes, honey. This ain't number forty and fabulous, honey. You see what's yes! going on? I was ready for this situation. You were. I'm just trying to figure out what is going on with you now, Tamar. Who is you mad at this week? So Tamar, according to uh, who who wrote about it? The Jasmine brand caught all of the clips from Tamar's Instagram. Tamar posted a clip of her from uh her days on the Real. Was she on the Real? I can't remember. Um, and she was talking about friendship. So Tamar posted this little clip and she also posted some, um, some subs and we like, she's firing shots, but who is she firing shots at? Putting everybody in your friend category. That's, stop that. Number one, because everybody is not your friend. Everybody's not, they're not well. Yes. Everybody but don't you want don't you to succeed and do yes. Good. 
Yes, but you can help, but you can see in a plenty This is the problem. You got to stop putting everybody in your friend category. That's, stop that, number one, because everybody is not your friend. Everybody's not. So she was saying everybody's not your friend, and the caption was, and I'm a stay, I'm, and I'm a real stay the fuck away from me forever type chick when I figure you out. So who has she figured out? Then she posted this in her stories. Woo, child. Everybody is so damn fake. Woo. It's too much to be fake at 40 plus. Who is fake, Tamar? Who is fake? Now, here's another one. She said, don't trust people who don't want to be friends with you in front of people who are not friends with you. No. She was talking about Jason. Jason was still hanging around Yoni and Nini, and I guess Tamar wanted them to kick him out of the friend circle. I don't know. No exceptions. Ooh, this is getting deep. She also posted this and said, take everything personal. Your friend didn't help you celebrate your birthday, but help other friends celebrate. Take it personal. Family members invite certain family members to gatherings, but not you. Take it personal. Your friend jumped for everybody else, but move slow motion when it comes to you. Take it personal. I had to learn the hard way. People treat you exactly how they feel about you. Don't be naive. Now, I'm not saying she's not saying anything factual. I listen, I agree with her. However, how many times you gonna fall out with all your friends? And when you do fall out, why you gotta go to social media and tell everybody what friendship is? <laughs> now, I spoke about this on Patreon. If you remember me speaking about this on Patreon, the first time she was throwing shots, pew, pew, pew. Somebody look at shot. Y'all remember? Put a one in the chat if y'all remember when I spoke about it. Now, um, y'all saying she always played a victim. Okay. Listen, listen, listen. Word on the curb. Oh, I don't know if I should say this. I don't know. This is just a word on the curb stuff. Listen, nobody told me this. I just heard it. I got my ears to the street like Mama Joyce. I be asking questions and stuff around the people, around the people. Okay. So apparently. Y'all know Nene is in her relationship with Yoni, right? They've been traveling. They've been to Paris. They've been to, to Africa. They've been to Nigeria. They've been to all these places. They've been booed up. And it's Yoni. And it'll be Yoni and all his friends, right? And his friends had women with them, right? Ooh, this is tea. This is tea. Oh, this is tea. No, well, this might not be tea. Apparently, according to the streets, Tamar might be a little bit upset because she was hollering at one of the rich Africans too. And now one of the rich Africans got another girlfriend. Like they weren't like a, 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 a couple. They weren't official. But apparently, you know, he's dating a lot of people. I just feel like this. And I'm just going to keep it 100 because we keep don't know it right now. Yeah. Don't get your life twisted up right now, okay? Every guy wants a lady, period, mm. okay? And I guess he chose to take someone else on the trip. And I guess maybe, I don't know, maybe she mad that uh, her friend didn't tell her. I don't know. I, listen, would you be mad? How would you react? Like, I don't know. It seems like you would be uh, stuck between a rock and a hard place if you there with your man and his friend is there with another chick and he used to talk to your friend, but he not, but they weren't really an item. But like, so are you supposed to report back and then get your man mad at you? Can y'all explain it? Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Put a one in the chat if you would spill the beans and put a six in the chat if you would keep your mouth shut and enjoy your trip. Let me know. Put a one in the chat if you would spill. I want to see how many of y'all is snitches and I want to see how many of y'all would uh would let your friend know depends on how much your friend was. but then again if she already knew he was seeing other people why am i why do i have to be i don't know i'm so confused you said you would mind your business some of y'all would mind your business some of y'all would tell some of y'all would mind your business some of y'all i might tell when i get back or something but i ain't gonna tell while i'm on the trip and then you know what what probably happened is she probably saw them on the trip and said oh my god there go tony with that girl and Nene right there with her, I would be pissed off too. But it, it, it ain't her fault, is it? You said it depends. 
<laughs> Whose fault is it? I don't know. It's too Thanks, messy. Chris. It's too messy. Uh, you said, ain't any man still married. You need to ask him. I don't know nothing about that. What that man be doing? You said, you're going to keep your lips zipped. Okay. Listen, I mind my business. Okay, Quasia, I mind my business. I don't know. Especially they ain't married. They ain't go. They don't go together. They just went on a few dates or whatever. I'm supposed to report back to you and tell you I see this man with another woman and he my man's best friend. Me and my man that locked it down. I can't help it that you and your man have it. I'm just saying, this just allegedly <laughs> depends on the friend. Okay. Um, I just wanted to remind y'all, I told y'all this three months ago. My story ain't changed. Okay. My story ain't changed. Other people's stories be changing, be topsy turvy. That's why you got to remember the lie you told. Because then when you tell it again, it, it gets different. <laughs> My story ain't changed. The truth don't need no help. It's still the truth now. It's still going to be the truth 12 months from now. It is what it is. So I just had to remind y'all that I told y'all this months ago. And y'all coming to me like it's some new tea. This ain't no new tea. She And I knew who the man is. Okay. She was dating Jason, who was also dating um Portia well before they even met Nene. So, you know, it is what it is. Is she mad about this man who been, you know, running through the Atlanta uh girls club? That's on you, child. Just like, you know, now she with this dude and then she going to find out that he used to date somebody she know and she going to get mad. Again. I don't know what to tell y'all. I don't know what to tell y'all. But shout out to uh, to Tamar. It's got to, you know, look, it's hard. It, look, I can speak for myself, okay? It's hard dating out here if people know who you are and you don't know them. You know what I'm saying? Like, as far as you being, you know, on the internet, of being a celebrity. And I ain't even considering myself no celebrity, but I'm just saying it's hard to know who's genuine, who's not, who's there just because they want some clout, who just, who's there just because they want, you know, to be a part of your social circle, who's there because, you know, they looking for a come up. It's hard. It is so hard. So bless up to Tamar on her journey. Okay. Bless up to Tamar on her journey. Now, speaking of uh, it being hard to date, I wanted to play this little clip really quickly. Okay. Uh, this is a little clip that I saw online today, and I just thought about, you know, all of us single ladies out there and how, you know, the manosphere always be trying to drag us as single independent women with money and how, you know, they say that we be talking about we don't need no men and all this. I ain't never said that. I need all the men, but I'm digressing. Um, but uh, I saw this little clip and I thought it was a great, great segue after this as far as being tough dating. Hold on. Let me let me refresh and turn it on. Yeah, man. I wish all these independent women who are out making their own money and don't need no man, I wish they come out and say more stuff. Because apparently on all these goddamn podcasts and from all these high-valued men, they're saying y'all y'all will never find a man and y'all are unhappy. Let me tell you something about independent women with their own money. They are out having a fucking blast. <laughs> what in social media had you thinking it's rich women out here crying because they ain't got no kids? No, they on a boat. They out here shaking their ass, starting businesses right after a fucking Zoom call. They ain't a rich aunt that come to the family gathering and they rile your kids up and then leave. That's probably the only thing I don't like about them. You just gonna get my child all hyped up and shit, give him some money and then walk the fuck off and leave. You see them every day on your timeline. They just wake up on a Monday and post a video on the beach and shit. They have like a different sense of self and they realize they don't have to live how you tell them to. And they don't need no fucking soulmate or a husband telling them what the fuck to do because everybody around them serves their soul. Tell me I'm fucking wrong. Get your money, man. I swear. Get your money. Get your money. Buy you that house. Buy you that car. Buy you whatever you want to buy. You know, look, the right man will find you, honey. He who finds a, husband, a wife finds a good thing. Child, lady. Ain't nobody out here mad because, you know, talk about she ain't got no husband. Lil Boozy over there. She, Michelle over there, Miz, but she ain't got no husband. She ain't got no kids. You got a husband, you got a kid, and your life still ain't right. So bump that. Okay, live your life, be happy. That's all I got to say. And shout out to Tamar. Tamar, live your life and be happy. Be divorced and happy, okay? Anyhow, anyway, you said it's giving Derek Jackson. Okay, whoever. I'm just saying it was a nice quote, okay? Look, one more quote before. Well, I'm going to say that quote to later. I'm saying that quote from later. Let's see what's next on my agenda. Okay. Y'all just get here. Go ahead and like this video. So